Hello, gentle viewers. This is of Indian. We are back with Hearts of Iron 4 for the fifth time on this channel. We've visited Hungary in the Death or Dishonor DLC. We've played as Japan after the Waking the Tiger DLC. The United States and Man the Guns. Soviet Union as a horribly, horribly bad playthrough as the Soviet Union. But today, with another new DLC, we're playing a new game. Uh, we're going to be playing with the La Resistance DLC, and I can't think of a better country to play it with than La Belle France. Now, we're going to be trying to restore the monarchy, which is a new option in the game, thanks to Hearts of Iron 4. It's new DLC. And I just want to look and see how that turns out for us. So we're going to pick select. We're going to look through the custom game rules, but I think we'll leave them all as is. Um, yeah, I'm not going to strengthen anybody. That's not my deal. Do I want Iron Man mode on? I guess there's no reason not to have it on. But maybe we button. Mm. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and, and leave Iron Man mode on, and uh, and see what happens here. We're going to be getting an election in April eight, nineteen thirty six, right away as soon as the game starts. So we're going to have some interesting decisions to make. Let's dive in. And we'll just call it Iron Man France, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so let's quickly survey what we actually control. We've got a fair bit of Africa. We've got Madagascar. We've got this area over here. Uh, why did I say this area? Indochina, which is what it was called at the time. Uh, a fair bit of the modern Middle East. And we've got a couple of minor possessions over in the New World. So, what we're going to try to do is first look at the focus tree. Let's zoom out and see what our choices are. So, a couple of have nothing to do with ideology, so we're not going to pay much heed to that right now. Yeah, those are just some helpful trees. So it looks like we have two choices. We can form the popular front. Uh, which is going to move us along a diplomatic route. Or we can revive the national bloc, which is going to go for more of a right-wing version. Now, somewhere in here should be a way... ...to... Is this it? The council? Yes, here we go. This is what we're going to be going for. So we're going to utilize the leaks, but only long enough to get the council of Ramboulet. And we can bring the monarchists back. 
can either bring the we can bring back the Duke of Orléans we can bring in Alphonse the first and uh, bring Spain back together or we could proclaim the Third Empire with Napoleon the sixth now these all sound very tasty Je suis le deluge. Um. <laughs> so I don't know which of these three flavors we would actually choose. We basically we have three choices here. If we go legitimate air, we can try to bring Spain back together. Uh, but then it stops, and that's kind of boring. Maybe we won't do that one. We can bring back the Orléans dynasty, uh, which will reduce our fascism support. We can create our own anti-fascist bloc. He's all kind of boring. Or we can bring back the Empire of France. And there's a lot to be said for that. I mean, we can just start murdering everybody on the planet. And that actually sounds pretty great, actually. Fuck it. Let's go full Napoleon. So we're going to pick Revive the National Block as our original... Um, as our first focus. So we're going to try to bring back the French Empire. And this could go horribly, horribly wrong. But maybe it won't. We'll have to see. Um, what else do we know about... Uh, we don't, we're going to need to start forming up our military. That's definitely going to be a priority. We have three research slots. Uh, instantly grab some infantry support equipment. And then we'll do the boring industry stuff. And construction, please. Factories. For right now, please build more civilian factories. Military factories. Um, let's keep producing infantry equipment for the moment. All right, so what we're going to do now, we have 53 divisions. Uh, how do we want to do this? Hmm. So maybe our best strategy is to just create for right now I guess we just focus on France right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab... Yeah, we're going to grab them in units of 24. I think that's the best call for right now. Right. Attention. 16, 17, 18, 20, Écoutez. 22. Écoutez. Okay. Okay. Ah, we have to add them to an army. That's fine. Uh, we're going to pick a good defensive general. We're going to take Charles de Gaulle. I'm going to put you in charge of this army. And you're going to make a front line right there. And then... 
There's still 50 unassigned divisions. That's fine, though. Add another new army. I'm going to have him cover the Italian border. And here I actually wouldn't mind a more aggressive person. And then ship click. Still 26 more divisions. That's fine. Let's start a third army. You'll go hang out on the Spanish border. I'm not doing this very strategically right now because I don't expect we'll be going to war right away. Um... And then let's take the remaining divisions. Oh, I see what we did. Those are like national armies. Okay. That's fine for right now. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Sure. And I'm going to have you come over here and sit there. Alright. And then let's create a new army group. And we're going to put in uh, Maxime here as your field marshal. So we're going to keep our armies kind of spread out for now because we're not sure what's going to happen yet. But once we start getting a better sense of what might happen, then we can start discussing uh, our strategies for the future. Um, that's everything I wanted to start out with. Let's check our decisions. Ah. Uh, Oh, we should probably look at espionage. Uh, so espionage, uh, it's going to take us five civilian factories. Let's start doing that. Uh, let's pick this one. I like that one. That looks nice. So this is a new feature of Law of Resistance, and it changes everything about the way the game is played. Because you can send different spies to different places, try to stir up trouble, steal stuff. It's really good. Um, but we'll talk about that as the game develops. I also want to look at garrisons. But I don't know how to access that mode. That's operatives map mode. Everyone's compliant, so that's not hair helpful. Resistance map mode doesn't really help either. Uh, you know what? It might actually be... Uh, we'll talk about how we're going to divide up our divisions and stuff a bit later. Here we go, garrisons. Uh, so this is a new part of the game. Uh, rather than having to have giant forces staying home, you can now have garrisons that'll show up if you get invaded, I believe is the specific mechanic. Um, but we can't see them for some reason because I guess we don't need them. I think it'll become more apparent as, uh, as we start annexing other territories. Uh, do we want to start training more troops? Not yet, I don't think. I don't think we want to do that just yet, but we'll wait and see what happens first. Let's move ahead time. You know, we should definitely also be organizing our fleets.
so what I'm basically trying to do is gather all of my fleets in one place. And we're going to do this for... Uh, we're going to basically have two fleets because we have to, right? We're going to need an Atlantic fleet and we're going to need a... Um, we're going to need a Mediterranean fleet. And then all we have over here is two cruisers, so that's fine. Uh, let me give you an admiral. It doesn't have to be anybody great, which is good because we don't have anybody. And then, yeah, the Far East fleet is fine. All right. So let's let time advance a bit farther, and then we will begin merging our fleets together. Once everyone is in the same place. Beautiful. Merged. Is the rest of my fleet still coming? Yes, that's fine. Merged. So we basically have three fleets. Um, I'm going to use English. My French is really bad. We're going to call this the Atlantic Fleet. I'm going to give you to Darlan. Uh, please pull into Brest. Are there any submarines in this fleet? Oh, there's a bunch of them. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new fleet. With all the submarines. Do you have anyone who's really good with submarines? I mean, I could put the aviation. Let's go ahead and put Godfroy there. Ooh. Uh, no, we'll actually do Abriel. You can manage that part. What just happened? Oh, I didn't even realize I had ships in Senegal. That's fine. And then you're gonna be... Oh, I see. This is considered a task force. This is not considered a separate fleet. I did not want to do that. Um, task force. They actually wanted to make a new fleet, not a new task force. I guess that's fine for right now. I can still give them separate orders, right? Oh, here you go. If I pick you on the map, maybe. Like, I kind of want you to have your own admiral, though, is the thing. But 
I can't figure out how to do that. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it for right now. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I don't want to spend too much time just prepping because it'll get kind of dull. There we go. And then you guys go ahead and pull into uh, Toulon. There we go. So the fleet is now reorganized. That's lovely. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to... Um, Grab my air wings. You can go away right now, button. Oh, that's not right. How do I access the... Sorry, guys. It's been a while since I've actually played this. Here you go. The button's up here. So I'm going to disband you. Disband. Disband them all. Because I will determine where the different flights are. I don't actually want air wings right now. I'll just make them too. Because deploy time isn't very long, and I'd rather they be concentrated where they can do us the most good. Now, we're going to be kind of a passive observer, at least in the early stages of this game. So I'm not going to be too focused on which areas to develop more people to. I will say we could probably use a few more divisions. Um, but for right now, I'm not sure where we want those, so we're going to wait on that. Let's unpause the game. So far, things seem pretty normal. We've created our intelligence agency, and so now we're going to start recruiting an operative. Once that's done, we will be able to start doing things with them. That'll come later. Now, one of the things I want to do, um, I don't think it makes sense to have the mountain divisions over here. So I would like you to be unassigned. And then I'm going to take uh, four regular infantry divisions. Unassign you. No, no, no. Sorry. Three, four. Okay, so I'm going to assign you. Who is controlling which front? I need to actually rename these at some point. Okay. Orange is the Spanish border. That's not a bad place to put them either. The purple border is Italy. So I'm going to put you on the green border. I'm going to put you guys on the Spanish border, actually. 
No, actually, the Italian border. That seems fine. Because I just genuinely don't think that there's going to be a huge threat coming in from Spain anywhere in the near future. So that's fine. Um, uh, one thing we could be doing right now, actually. Oh, a lot of you guys are the Colonial Brigades, which means you're super weak. That's not going to do at all. Um. There's an easy way to do this. I just have to remember. Oh, uh, this doesn't sort by, um... Colony. Oh. Okay, that is the issue. That's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to change all of these to the proper infantry division template. Because we're not having them in the colonies right now. Now, if we want to go back and do it in another colony thing later on, that's fine. But for now, I think that's the best use of our manpower is to strengthen divisions we've already got. Attention. What? Attention. I see what it did. That's not helpful. Alright. You. Actually, you might be able to do it here in the division thing. Yeah, there's only nine colonial divisions. I seem to find them. Here we go. So we're going to go one... Two, three. Nope, that's not what I want. You're being the worst right now. Bye. Oh, there we go. You just double click them. That's fine. Bye. That works. Here we go. Attention. Make them all regular infantry. And then I'm just going to delete the stupid um, colonial template. What? You're still saying that nine divisions are using it. Oh, I see. They just weren't properly labeled. Yeah, you should be infantry division. Oh, I see. It was the brigade colony. Okay. And you'll notice all of a sudden we're kind of hurting for manpower. We will eventually fix that. But it's not a priority right now. Excellent. Uh, you're a really good safe cracker. You're really good at stealing blueprints. I quite enjoy that. Ooh, you could pick up a new nationality. That's really good. You're really good at infiltrating. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we can upgrade. And if we upgrade, we're going to gain uh, our second slot. Let's make sure we can easily handle civilian intelligence. That's a pretty big thing for us to worry about. 
And then you are going to start building an intelligence network in uh, Berlin. Because of all the countries in the world, Germany is the biggest threat to us. We need to know what Germany is planning. And so it's going to take 250 days for him to fully build up his intel network. That's fine. We're going to finish our first focus. Here we go. Okay, remilitarization of the Rhineland. An act of war. Yeah, this is a bad idea. We're just going to go ahead and be a bit angry about it, but that's it. Let's utilize the leagues. So what are our national spirits? Uh, Victors of the Great War is pretty poop. This is bad. This is okay. Oh, this is very bad. Political violence we'll worry about later on. We definitely have a lot of things that we need to fix. For sure. We still have the political power to do anything with them just yet. How's our military logistics? Uh, we're really short on supply infantry equipment. Uh, so much so. Um, let's make sure they've got at least 10 factories working on that at all times. Let's go back to the main map mode. All right, we're a little better at civilian stuff. Um, this sounds really good. We can recruit local agents. Or we could form cryptology. We're going to want to start doing that eventually. But you know what? Let's focus on army intelligence. I want to make sure that we've got all the main departments covered. So if you look now, if we click on Germany, our intel ledger is now slowly getting filled out. So we have an approximate division count if we click on that button, which is obviously completely useless. Seven to 53 is complete and utter garbage. We need to get more intel on them for that. So this tells you what you get at each level. So we know what their active national focus is. Um, we have a pretty good idea of what's being built and what it is. They've got way more factories than we do. That's kind of scary. Um, we'll get more divisions when we get to about 50%. But for now, our focus is just to build up our network. And he's working on the four-year plan. And I know this, which is pretty handy. Yeah. 
That seems good. Let's do it. We have a decision available. We could grow rubber in Madagascar. That seems really good. Like, I'm just going to flat out do it. Because rubber is going to be one of the things we're going to have a hard time doing. Second London Naval Conference. I wonder if Japan's going to walk out. They probably will. Okay, hang on. Things are happening. Please stop. Okay. So we can either make the communists more popular or we can go for a broad coalition. Let's go for a broad coalition. Uh, and then let's instantly... Okay, what do we want here? It's hard to argue in the current meta that dispersed isn't just plain better than concentrated. Because although, yes, you get more factory output, it also reduces your ability to change from one to the next. And that's not good. Because um, you're going to be changing things quite frequently. I'm going to take dispersed. It just seems, it seems like it's just too much better in the current meta. And then we are lagging badly behind on that. So we should definitely fix that. Uh, Ethiopia has capitulated. So we can't pick national regeneration, but we can pick the Council of Rambule. So I think we're going to push to here before we start looking at some of the other focuses. Because I want to get rid of national... I want to get rid of disjointed government as quickly as I can. Ooh, the Neutrality Act. Okay. Interesting. What is increased world tension? Germany occupying the Rhineland. That's fair. We're also, once we've started that tree, because I don't want to go right for Britain. I want to wait till they're already involved in a war. There's our construction boost. Do we start on the land doctrine or do we wait? I think maybe we wait a bit. Oh, we've already started on grand battle plan. That's not the worst idea, actually. Oh, God. Look how long it would take. So long. Yeah, we won't do that. Um, Support companies. Field hospitals. Maybe. We've got an armored car. That's cute. We're going to want Marines at some point, but I don't think they're a priority. Let's start rolling out a new model of fighter. I think this is a good call because we're going to need air support in the eventual war. That will happen at some stage. I mean, our resource gain right now is fine. I don't feel particularly... 
Ooh, hang on. Passive artillery buff is always going to be a good choice. Now, do we want to start thinking about division composition? We have no army experience. We really should be having them work out. But for now, the combat width is an ideal. So apparently 40 is the new 20 in terms of the meta and that you want divisions of 40 width. It's better to have really big armies than tiny ones, I guess. Which seems fair. Um, we will make some changes to this, but we'll need some army experience first. Um, we have a lot of very, very green troops. This is going to cause even more issues. Oh, we can add a new trait. I don't think I care that much. The, uh, no, not right now. Um, let's start getting armies to exercise. Uh, not this army. This army is pretty veteran. Uh, this one could use a bit of work. And you two are fine. I'm just going to give you a general just for the sake of giving you a general. There we go. Oh, here we go. Rally the leagues. I don't want fascism to be popular. So I think we're actually not going to do either of these. In all honesty, let's go ahead and turn these two off. Because I just don't think it's worth it. Why on earth would I ever dismantle the Machino line? Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay. We could maybe form the EU. It's kind of like an end game goal. All right, we're going to start bringing in some fuel. Uh, trade. Oil. USA. That's going to help. We're fine. We've got more than a year's worth of fuel. We can start worrying about that later on. Electronic engineering. Let's immediately go to mechanical computing. I really should have done those right away, but I didn't think of it, so. Whoops. The world is suspiciously quiet. Let us revise the Constitution. And then we'll go to repeal the Law of Exile. Okay, so I won't actually be able to do this for a year. Because that's going to be focusing on boosting up stability. That's fine. Because that spirit has to go away before we can repeal the Law of Exile. So that's fine. We'll do that. And then we'll start focusing on some other things. Purchase in the Soviet Union. We need to build a couple refineries here.
Ah, we're going to want to research that attack then a little bit later on. Very quiet world so far. I'm never going to dismantle the Maginot Line, so please just stop. Any communist raids, not worth it. I'm just not gonna bother with any of those for right now. Uh, can we please build more civilian How's the armies coming along? It's going to take you a while, but you're becoming more veteran. Yeah, once they're at maximum capacity, then we will kick them back down. Let's think about what we want to do in the future, actually. This is a good use of our time. Because we won't be able to do this right away, right? We have to have this for at least a year. So one thing we can do is we can start to push in this direction. Ooh, industry bonuses. That's really good. Everything here is locked out. That's fine. I need to start building up war support before I can start rearming. What's the value of devaluing the franc? Oh, I see. It's going to add some infrastructure, increase compliance. So this is basically going to let me get some building slots if we need to. This is the path to more research slots. I can't ignore that. And then that's for the Navy and the Air Force. That's fine. I think we maybe have to start pushing on devaluing the franc just so we can get the additional... Um, research buffs. I think that's just too important to get our research going full blast. Um, yeah, I think that's a good call. And then we can come back here and grab these later on. Because these all have some really good stuff in them. So I can never go down this path, which is a shame, but that's fine. What do you do, Pierre Laval? Oh, you help us with political power. Excellent. Italy's starting to worry me. They've got a lot of divisions on our border.
Oh, the attrition because of the, um... Right. It's all right. You'll notice, and I just want to make this clear, we cannot push any farther down this path. So it's starting to devalue the franc. It's not ideal. It's going to reduce our consumer goods factories. But it's going to be important to start investing in industry. And I really want this research slot, so let's do it. Mm. Interwar artillery and dispersed industry. Great. Let's work on synthetic oil. So we can start building refineries. It is almost 1937. Let's start getting field hospitals. We reduce experience loss, and more importantly, it, we can cause some benefits there. Unless there's only a tiny bit ahead of time. And I do want to eventually get into radio. Uh, the Navy's going to have to be addressed at some stage. Fighters. I think that's the right call. I think we want to make sure that we have the technology to build fighters uh, once we have the opportunity to do so. Okay. I'm not going to have you train up to be regulars. Mattel, y'all, go ahead and stop exercising. And we'll just wait until your people are no longer green. I probably should be training more divisions at this point, but I also don't have the manpower yet. So we'll have to think about that too. Yes. Now, once you are no longer green, I will stop your exercises too. Done. And the attrition goes away. Beautiful. And the Spanish Civil War just kicked off. What I'm actually going to do... Um, I actually need two marshals, I think. Because I need the ability to put more than one army on this line, right? So what I'm going to do... You're De Gaulle's, right? I'm going to pull you out of that army group. And I'm going to go ahead and assign your front line for the army group to be there. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull you off. There we go. And then what this should do is you all should instantly start shifting over. No, what are you doing? This is not what I told you to do. I told you to come over here, please. There they go. And then let's go ahead and just bin this order. Because I'm willing to let Spain worry themselves out. I don't like Italy's getting so frisky over there. And then, Mr. De Gaulle, I'm going to give you your own marshal. And it's going to be um, Gamelin. I think that's the right call. And then let's make sure this is set. Here. And I don't have the manpower. Once I start finishing the rearm issue, uh, we'll be able to, I think, start to expand the army a bit more dramatically.
Oh wow, the Republic, the Nationalists look like they're in pretty bad shape actually. No, wait, no, they're not. I can expand them for even more rubber. That's so tempting. No, I'm gonna wait because I actually want to start getting stuff built that needs factories. Oh, let's develop the Metropole first. And then we can start developing in other places too. Oh, that's really good too. Like, oh my goodness. If we invest in all of these, we can just have explosions of colonial industry. But we're just going to take the easier route for right now. I think we'll end this episode once we proclaim the Empire. Can I ever change my manpower law? No, I would need a lot more war support than I have right now. Oh, do I have one of those? Um, There's a, there's a guy that increases your ability to have intelligence, but I can't remember who that is. That's fine. Hang on. Oh, I'm not working any upgrades. I must have missed that part. Whoopsie. Um, let's get... Um, Let's just keep going with these. I know we need the factories, but I also want to get enough that we can um, recruit a second operative. Well, here we go. Your network is now perfect. What do we know about Germany? Not much. You have two fleets. You have a very tiny fleet compared to ours. That's fine. Things don't look so good for... I think the nationalists need to try to close these gaps republicans rather mechanical computing that sounds amazing oh we can now start doing the next tier of machine tools uh, we're very slowly improving our army oh so slowly
Okay, Air Force Department. Because I want to start getting into uh, Italy's mail, too. Actually, now that I have this... Uh, no, that's not what I want. Here we go. Ah, I need a second person for pretty much everyone. The root in structure? Whoops. And I think we'll form the cryptology branch too. Uh, have we had that spirit for a year yet? No. Then let us invest in... invest in metropolitan France. China hasn't, uh, Japan hasn't done a damn thing yet. That is really bizarre. Huh. Get an attache, please. It's actually pretty handy, but that looks like they're also going to tell me no. That's fine. Good. Um... Land auction is still a hilariously long time before we can get it done. Uh, let's keep going with dispersed industry. start on cryptology. Okay. Do we build one in Frankfurt now? How are we doing with, with Germany now? Okay, so you have infantry divisions, Panzer, okay. So not much of a stockpile yet. And we have a little bit more clarity now. It's like, oh, it's 31 to 74, right? We need 50% to really start getting some good stuff there. Uh, you have five infantry, five support, four armor, two artillery, and you're going the mobile warfare doctrine. That's admittedly not a giant surprise.
Let's see here. Let's take localized. Oh, don't do that one. No, no, no. Please don't. That's too many factories. I can't do that. Uh, let's do blueprint stealing. We have 12 per day. You know, I should still know what their national focus is. Coal liquidization. Okay. Uh, the nationalists are cut, cut off uh, these guys over here. That's unfortunate. Nope, we'll need to check and see actually. October 7th, so we can still take one more national focus before that, that's fine. It's enough agency upgrades for right now. Oh, I'm going to take the linguist. Oh, her nickname is Pierre. That's like her secret name. Okay. Oh, here we go. Now we have these different things we can do in here. Now, which operation would we like to try? We could try to steal industrial blueprints, but I know that you need three people to do that. Uh, capturing a cipher seems pretty risky.
Maybe we should wait until we've established the network a bit stronger. tools. I like it a lot. Construction, please. Hindenburg went kaboom. That's not a shame because I don't care, but uh, let's go and finally pick up Field Hospital 1. I can finally modify the government. Yes, please. Oh, we're going to want De Gaulle once we take that focus, so I'm going to wait on that. Let's take... Oh, here he is. Yeah, it's the elusive gentleman is the one we want. That seems like an excellent decision. Go to Hamburg, please. Which means we will do things like steal blueprints, so that would be a very handy thing for us to do. Uh, can we please keep building... No, actually, I think we need to start building some military factories now. It actually builds faster. Oh, military factories build faster. I didn't know that. Interesting. Okay. Let's go and infiltrate their civilian infra infiltration thing. As soon as it's ready, go ahead and launch it. Oh, notice it starts to get darker and darker. It's because we're, we sacrificed part of our network to make this happen. I mean, we should have been infiltrating their army and stealing their army blueprints. Damn it. I didn't think of that. Oh, well. Oof. No more Amelia Earhart. You are a seducer. That's fine. Uh, go ahead and build up, start building up an intelligence network. Let's just keep that nice and strong as we can. And we still have time, believe it or not to go ahead and grab this research slot. I think Paradox has done a good job of making sure the Spanish Civil War lasts longer. How long has it been going on now? It's been going on a while, and it seems like it's much more balanced than it used to be. Used to be like the Nationals would just run over the Republicans, but now we're getting a longer war.
I think after this last focus, um, we should be able to dispersed industry. Very nice. I mean, we have quite a bit of fuel right now. I don't think we really need resources right now. I think we'd be better suited. Let's get radio because I want signal companies and reinforced radio is just too good. Things are surprisingly quiet. Free dockyards, my goodness. There we go. We're going to want to eventually start improving the Navy, but I don't think we're there yet. Germany is not taking us seriously. Where are they putting their troops? Ooh, it's risky. You know what, before we do this maybe, let's learn Invisible Ink. And let's just have you for right now build up your Intel networks. Oh, the Civil War has expanded. The anarchists have gotten involved. Um, yes, please. I think free military factories sound amazing. Please give that to me. It's still going to take a billion years to do even. Do I want tank destroyers? Like, I do want to start developing a medium tank. Um, do we start researching, like, better ships? Um... Let's start work on sonar. Because we're going to have to deal with submarines, right? All right. 
On this episode, it's running a little bit long, but I think it's good. Perfect. Um, what do you want? Uh, fuck you, National of Spain. There we go. Is now no longer risky. Let's try it out. Commence when ready. Prepare. Like, we have an amazing network right now. So let's see if we can use it to our advantage. Okay, they've got a bunch of industry tax. Oh, cool. It actually shows what they think I'd be able to target. Oh, nice. Like, even getting excavation would be pretty handy. But I don't know if it just makes it quicker or if you actually get the actual tax. Because if you do, I'm going to start hammering their army. And there's not going to be any question of that. Alright, I think we'll probably end this episode after we've proclaimed the French Empire. I think that would be a very thematic place to end. Um, I really want to make sure we develop a fair bit of resources, so let's try to at least get decent destroyers first. And then it's almost 38. Let's grab improved infantry equipment. Bum. Bum, 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 Because I don't want that. Please stop. Like, I legitimately don't care right now. Spain is requesting aid. Ooh, no communists. Sorry. Screw you, Spain. There we go. Glorious bonus military factories. And now we can repeal the law of exile. A really disjointed government is worth it just by itself. Like, it's just so bad. Uh, but that's going to be it for this episode, I think. Um, I think next episode we will begin proclaiming our great victory. Uh, we really need to get rearmament going. Is there anything we can do to build war support? Hmm. Not right now. Let us make sure we're producing a bunch more guns. Uh, 
But until next time, this has been Avindian. Thank you for watching. And I bid you good day.